All right, well, I've got something special for you guys today. Um, because the blog was so successful and the check was so big, I was actually able to buy a game thanks to you guys. So in honor of all of you, I went ahead and I pre-ordered a copy of Record of the Agris War. Uh, some of you probably know what this game is all about, but just to help um, explain how poorly marketed and how poorly designed this game is, I have my wife here to help me out with the unboxing of Record of the Agris War. I'm going to conduct a brief little experiment as I'm going to show my wife the box art and ask her what type of game is Record of the Agris War. Let's see what happens. Uh, yeah. Um, that looks like hentai. <laughs> You're wrong! <laughs> This is not a hentai game. <laughs> uh, you, you, you might think that because there is not one inch of this box that does not have um, an upskirt shot, a suggestive sausage eating. Even the top and bottom have artwork on them. These guys did not miss a beat. Uh, the only clue you have as to exactly what sort of game this is, is if you look on the back of the box, in this corner right up here, wait, wait, no, not that one, that one is about dating and choosing a wife and breeding. Let's look at the box over here. This one over here actually says it's a strategy RPG game with over 80 hours of gameplay. Go figure. Who knew? She didn't. So... Let's dig into the special edition, which I haven't told her the actual name of the special edition, but it says it right here in big, bold print. It is the really naughty limited edition. Alright, some artwork and some plastic here. Let's try and rip this open using all my... Dorky might. Oh, there we go. Yeah, let's see you try and do that. Alright. Oh my gosh, it's cloth. Okay. I was worried it was a blow up doll for a second. <laughs> no, it is not a blow up doll. <laughs> okay, it's a pillowcase. It is a pillowcase <laughs> of one of the characters from the game, I'm assuming. <laughs> All right, then. Oh, how nice. They actually included a logo for the game down here in the bottom corner. Let's see here. A corn to the back of the box. This is the Yearning Ellis pillowcase. In case you want to snuggle up with her. Um, yeah, I am, I am totally using that on my bed tonight. <laughs> She's yearning. You have to do it. <laughs> now, here's what else is included in the really naughty limited oh edition. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't even show it yet. <laughs> I saw it. <laughs> a mouse pad. Um, and of course, the first thing you're gonna notice about this mouse pad is that the character has a third eye. That's obviously what sticks out when you're looking at this mouse pad. It's, um... Gee, honey, what do you think of this mouse pad? It's ergonomically correct. <laughs> yeah. She's right. Um, wow. Hmm. I do want to point out that these are surprisingly firm. There is very little give to these. It, it's definitely ergonomic. <laughs> Healthy for your wrist. Oh my god. And deep in here, buried within this, we have the actual game itself. Uh, something funny you'll notice about the game cover art compared to everything else I've pulled out of this box is that the game cover art actually shows some guys on it. You know, right here and here. And um, that that's it. That is the only shot of men you have anywhere in this packaging. Uh, 
back of this actually looks like a regular video game back. It doesn't say anything about Yearning Alice or a sensual mouse pad or anything. So this you can actually get away with having in a store. This was on the top shelf over at GameStop. And the clerks all laughed at me when I went to pick it up. So that's, that's what I go through for you people. Social humiliation. That being said, they made a lot less fun of me than the time I went and I bought Wartech. So, take that for what you will. Record of Agris War, more socially acceptable than Wartech. Um, gee, honey, what do you think of that packaging? I still say it looks like a hentai. It is not a hentai game. <laughs> I promise. Um, thankfully, you're all going to find out, because uh, starting next week, I'm actually going to be doing a Let's Play Record of the Agris War for all of you, so you don't have to go through the same humiliation that I went through to actually see what the game is like. I'll be playing it for you, so you can see what it's actually like. So um, thanks to my wife for doing this for me, and possibly being a little embarrassed and making fun of me in the process. So, see all of you guys next week.